Hello everyone, Spud here, and in today's video, I just wanted to do something a little bit more personal. I want to talk about a few things going on with the channel, and uh, with sort of what I'm planning on doing. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys may have noticed that my um, video production rate has really gone up, especially compared to the last couple of weeks here, because um, I actually go to a military academy, uh, and it's a full-time college student, and I'm over there, um, I don't really have a, lot, a whole lot of time, so I only pick up, you know, pump out one or two videos a week. Uh, but my semester just ended, and I'm starting my summer break. And with this, I am ramping up my production to try and uh, just get a lot more videos out, maybe sort of go up the channel a bit while I can and while I have the time. But um, essentially, there's a lot going on this summer, so I'm not going to have a super amounts of time. Um, I'm going to a family reunion. My sister's getting married. Um, lots of stuff going on. I'm going on a fishing trip for my birthday. And yeah, so essentially um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm trying to put out either one video a day or one video every two days. And um, it just depends on what I have. And I probably, before I go on some of these trips, I'm going to try and uh, record a bunch of videos beforehand and then have them released on a schedule just so that way you guys don't go for too long without a video. Um, I really do want to continue going with this channel. It's a lot of fun. really enjoy it. And just hopefully I can get to grow a bit more. And while I'm here also decide, maybe you guys want, want to take a look at my setup, because I have my whole setup behind me right here, and I figured, hey, let's just go ahead and take a look at each piece, shall we? So yeah, this is my gaming setup, this is my battle station, this is where I do all of my recording, my streaming, and just where I usually spend my free time. Um, I love the hell out of it. Yeah, down here, this is the PC. I know it doesn't look like much. Um, the case is very, very, very standard. Um, I just got it because it was cheap, and I didn't really spend a whole lot on a case anyway. So, let's get started. We're just going to go through it piece by piece, I think. And let's start off with my keyboard. This is a Razer Black Widow Ultimate Chroma, I think. And uh, it's actually a pretty good keyboard. It's very fast. Uh, it's got custom backlighting. I have something just to match my setup as of right now, because it's got sort of a blue theme going on. I don't know why. But yeah, it's actually it's a pretty nice keyboard. My only main complaint with it is that it's really loud. And so like, you guys will hear that like, as I'm doing keystrokes stuff while I'm playing. That all gives feedback up off of my mic, which is really annoying when it does happen. And uh, yeah. But overall, it's actually been a great keyboard. Uh, I love it. It's very solidly built. This thing's heavy as all hell. And um, it's got a massive, massive cable coming out there. It's all braided and pretty nice. And yeah, so let's move on towards our audio solution now. So we'll do headphones after the mic. This is the microphone I use for most of my videos. Obviously, I'm not using it right now. But um, this is a Blue Snowball Chrome Edition. So it's got a nice little um, reflected surface here. So let's unplug it. And uh, yeah, it's got three different settings on it as by default. And um, all in all, it's actually a really good microphone. Uh, I've been really enjoying my time with it. It was actually a Christmas present by my awesome sister who's about to get married. And yeah, so really this has been such a great gift. I've used it so much and I I don't know, I just I really like having good pieces of kit like this just because I don't know, it's pretty fun and nifty to have. And so yeah, moving on to our headset. I'm sure that a lot of you guys actually recognize this. This is a Seal Series Siberia V2. And uh yeah this is a really good headset. I mean, it's kind of cheapo. Not the most sturdiest thing in the world, but it's very, very comfortable. I can play for, for literally hours at a time without feeling anything in this headset. And even if I do sort of feel anything, then I've got my uh, speakers back there. So that will allow me to, uh, you know, take a break and let my ears rest. But overall, fantastic set of headphones and uh, good for the price. I got this for, I think, actually $45. So, you know, good budget headset right there. Uh, let's move on to my mouse and mouse pad. So for my mouse, actually, I know this looks like it should belong in a mental, uh, a mental ward, kind of very sterile looking and bland. But this is actually a uh, Steel Series Sensei uh, Frost Blue edition, and uh, I actually have really enjoyed it. I've had it for a while now. Um, it's a pretty, pretty good mouse. Uh, very accurate, very fast, very light. Um, there's not a whole lot of bulk to this mouse, so I can move it very fast and just be very accurate with my movements. 
And this is always a good thing to have in a mouse. And of course, I'm using it on a Seal Series QCK mouse pad. Just basic, cheap, large enough, and effective enough. Very good to uh, just track movement on my screen. And yes, of course, I have a gamepad over there for when I'm playing Dark Souls and a remote for my TV. Let's go on to my uh, main screen now. This is my 27 inch 1080p, 144 hertz screen. Uh, it's 3D vision ready, and it's over, all in all, it's actually a pretty good screen, so, um, I don't know, I've really, really, uh, had a, a good time with this screen, it's about $500 worth, it was another Christmas present, so, um, very awesome there, really appreciate it, it's actually a badass screen, I love, I mean, once you go to 144 hertz, there's nothing that compares, really, and back here, this is actually my old screen, this is just sort of a standard, um, Asus 1080p monitor, 60 hertz, uh, I use this for sort of secondary work when I'm streaming or recording or just doing something where I need more sort of um, things on screen, I will use this screen. Uh, and one of the reasons why I needed to get a replacement one for it is actually the base right here is entirely broken. So like, this thing needs a little bit of pressure right there and the whole thing just shakes. So yeah, I needed to get a new screen for that. And uh, yeah, so anyways, let's move down to the main attraction, shall we? I think this is um, this is my custom PC, so we're gonna open up the side of the case and talk about the components a bit. I will give you a warning though, guys. Um, the wiring is pretty shitty. Um, this is my first build, and I kind of just wanted to play right away. I didn't really care about cable management at all. I do plan on rebuilding this thing soon, as soon as I get a um, new motherboard, and when I get my new GTX 1080, which <laughs> I'm pre-ordering, guys. Dude, that thing looks badass. So yeah, let's take out the side panel and take a look. And I have a flashlight here so we can get a good view. And yeah, so pretty basic. I don't have a badass cooler or anything. Um, so we have one intake fan on the left here going into my stock Intel CPU cooler. It's running right now. And actually, but under this cooler is an i7-4770. Uh, Non-K, but its boost clock is 4, point, is 4, 4 gigahertz, so that's pretty damn awesome. And right here I've got um, two 8 gigabyte sticks of RAM. Let's try and get you a better view of that. And um, they don't have any coolers or anything on them, but they came stock with a previous PC that I had. And I just ripped them out and threw them in this thing. And it works good enough for what I use it for. Now the main attraction though is down here. Now this is my EVGA GeForce GTX 970 Super Super Clocked Edition. Let's see, right there, there it is. Super, super clocked. And let's get you a better view of the sort of underside and working of this thing. You can see it all running right down there, and let's get the light in there. But yeah. Really just an awesome, badass card. Um, this is what powers all of my games at you know, high frame rates in 1080p. Uh, like I said, I am planning on upgrading two a 1080 as soon as it's available but oh uh, yeah anyways guys so yeah that's it that's my setup we have that in there all in here and this is what i use to produce youtube content and just play my games on so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys all on the next video Bye bye